Hello guys and welcome to this Glayu tutorial where we are going to learn how to model a neck holder in just a few steps using just some of our SUBD tools such as the revolve, the inset, extrusion and the symmetry. So let's start by drawing the egg profile using just the circling rhinoceros from the origin and setting, setting as a diameter 45 millimeters and with this we will draw two reference lines from the origin using both sides on the y axis and I will rotate it 90 degrees to have it on the x axis as well and then let's let's draw one more circle from this intersection here to this one and I will draw another line from this intersection on the x-axis to this one on the y-axis and I will extend selecting this curve as a boundary and this curve the one to extend and let's draw one last circle from this intersection to this one. Now I will be using these curves maybe to trim some of them. I will set this to option yes. Now I will just start deleting all of the curves I'm not going to use like all of them in this part I won't be using this either or this too so now as you can see I have to delete this one as well as you can see here I can delete this too just join this which will be the profile for our app so let's move it a little bit up so let's use this curve as the profile to make a clay revolve so we can get the shape of the egg. Uh, we have this uh, kind of weird uh, result because we have to set the proper axis, in this case the z-axis uh, as the revolution axis. Now you can see we don't have pretty much like a neck shape but it looks more like a raindrop or something like that we can add some more divisions on it to better adapt to the profile curve I will have something like this I'm pretty happy with this and we won't have any cap on the top or the bottom of the revolution so once we validate this I can delete the profile curve because I'm not going to need it anymore as you can see here, it looks, if I go to the selection by points, it looks like I have just one point on the top and one on the bottom. Sorry. But actually, as I didn't set any cap on, on the top or the bottom, I maybe have uh, as many points here as the number of divisions I have set. So if I try to move this point on the top you will see this um, weird result and this is because we actually don't have just one point on the top but many of them as many of the as the number of uh, divisions so a good way to re to um, solve this it's to just select all of the points on the top and use our tool collapse which will make just one point with all of them so if I select now the point on the top you can see I can move it as just one point so we do the same on the bottom just to close the geometry on the top and the bottom and collapse so now we have the egg shape, we can draw as well 
another line to be our profile and here is where you can be more creative and set as let me just move the entire a bit lower somewhere like this even a bit more and here is where you can't create the profile for your for your egg holder I'm going to draw from here more or less and I will do a shape something like this maybe yes something simple you can be more creative and create any other shape on here and you have to take in account that this is going to be like the half height of our of our egg holder because then we will uh, mirror it on the bottom so let's do again a revolution with this shape here so once again I'm going to just drop this uh, tab here and just create a new revolution I'm going to set just a number of divisions to be like 6 because I will have a shape uh, with um, with some like sharp edges and I want them to be like an hexagon so I will set the number of segments alone to be just one I will add some new divisions if I need them and I will, ju and I will just cap the top with a polygonal, this is not the top the end of the top will be this with a polygonal um, face with polygonal faces so once I'm happy I click on OK and I validate the result, I'm going to go to the polygonal mode to work properly and I will select uh, my egg I will select my egg and will change it to subdivided mode and I will lock it and will change again also just let me change before the layer for it will place it in here and I will lock this uh, layer just to not be disturbing me when uh, modeling my my egg holder so I'm going to see the result how it will be in the subdivided mode you see like it's uh, very very inside the egg so I'm going to select the faces on the top and I'm going to Rescale them to make them much bigger. Something like this maybe will work. I will select also all of these edges on the top. I'm going to close this and I'm going to just drag and drop this somewhere in here because I'm going to use those um, tools later so we will use now the split size tool to create something like this and let's see the result in the subdivided mode much better now because I can see here the profile it's outside my my egg so maybe even I can do it a bit smaller this part here just a bit something like this no actually I'm going to leave it as it was like this next thing I'm going to do is to create 
and insert from these six faces here. Or actually I'm going directly to extrude them. So let's go to the extrude tool. I mask it to select the faces to, to extrude. Type enter. And I will extrude them inside. And we'll increase the tapering. So I will make it smaller to be inside. Go into the subdivided mode. We can try more or less to have the same shape than the egg. And if I add just two segments, we'll be able to to better adapt it when we validate the tapering. More or less now it follows the profile of the egg, but once we validate it, we can change much better the size of the, of the profile, of the division, so we can select here these edges and make them a bit bigger something like this and let's do let's select this point in here and make it a bit move it a bit deeper and then just select all of them and move them Have it up. Let's make those a bit bigger, and something like this will work to be the sh to have the shape adapted to the egg. Let's finally make those in here a bit smaller, like this. I'm quite happy now with the adaptation. But with result, I can see here. And if I'm happy, I'm going maybe to select, I'm going to unlock the egg. And select everything here and we'll move it A bit down and now finally I just have to make the symmetry with my of, of my egg holder to have it repeated on the other side so I select the egg holder and go and select the symmetry tool, select the mode of symmetry, I will select the edge loop, I will select all of the edges here and type enter. So now you can see here the result for our egg holder. I'm going to add just some details, I'm going to validate the symmetry and let's add some detail just sorry go into the polygonal mode I'm going to select these uh, vertical edges and I'm going to create split sides again in here just to have like instead of a rounded shape that it, it was quite good but instead of this imagine I want to have like this more um, sharp, uh, sharp result so 
so I can do the same with all of these vertical edges and once we have done this we go again to the subdivided mode just to see if we are happy with our result in my case I'm quite happy with it I'm just going to make maybe this middle part a bit smaller a bit thinner it's something like this quite good now so just go outside the edition mode in clayu we can go to the render view and yes add some materials, just let me hide the curves let me add some materials on it we can remove some reflection on this material to the ray trace view and that's the result of our egg holder hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next tutorial thank you